Hello, John Brewer here. This is the first of my series of videos on large ship combat in Space Engineers. This video is going to be a conceptual video to get you thinking about how the battle space around a large ship in Space Engineers is shaped, and what the key ranges of engagement are. Let's begin by discussing some of the key properties of Space Engineers' main weapon systems, Gatling Guns and Rockets. Gatling Guns and Rockets both have large ship and small ship variants. Small ships can have fixed guns and rocket pods. Large ships have automated turrets for both rockets and Gatling guns. In addition, large ships can have fixed rocket launchers. Gatling guns are simple ballistic weapons. They fire a stream of bullets. The bullets travel at about 250 meters per second and are only effective out to about 1,000 meters. Gatling turrets can be set to engage targets as far away as 800 meters. Rockets are projectiles that carry small explosive charges. They travel at about 500 meters per second and are effective until they self-destruct after 1,835 meters of flight. Let's look at what these ranges mean for a large ship attempting to engage another large ship in combat. The ships we'll be using for this demonstration are the stock red and blue ships available with Space Engineers. For this example, we'll start the ships two kilometers apart so that we experience all of the important ranges for Space Engineers combat. Because the blue ship has two rocket launchers to the red ship's one rocket launcher, we'll have the blue ship be the aggressor vessel. At two kilometers, neither ship can engage the other. Rockets self-destruct short of either ship. At 1835 meters, the ships are within rocket range of each other. Dodging is still possible, as it takes over three and a half seconds for the rockets to reach the target ship. At 800 meters, Gatling turrets can begin engaging the opposing vessel if it is moving. At this distance, it takes bullets about three seconds to reach the other ship, and rockets about a second and a half. Attackers approaching turret-equipped ships in a straight line CBDR pattern will begin to experience considerable damage from bullets at this point. At 400 meters, the ships might start encountering spherical gravity shields projected by the other ship. These fields are often set to repel objects with artificial masses in an attempt to deflect incoming missiles. At 150 meters, linear gravity shields might be encountered. At 50 meters to the target, all weapons are viable. Rockets and bullets take less than a quarter of a second from firing to impact and can be aimed with great accuracy. Missiles equipped with seeker heads at this range will lock onto their target and often impact. Large ships have a maximum speed of 104.7 meters per second. Two ships charging at each other from maximum range will spend about eight and three quarters seconds in weapons range before they hit each other. It is reasonable that each ship might fire more than 30 rockets from each of its launchers during this period, and a CBDR target would ensure that most would hit. At impact, warheads at or near the impact point will detonate. If two warships hit each other, a cloud of debris will be generated, and automated turrets set to engage moving objects will usually focus on this debris cloud. To review, engagement range for large ships and space engineers starts at 1835 meters. Within this range, you can be hit by aimed rockets from enemy ships. Within 800 meters, you'll encounter fire from automated turrets firing bullets and rockets. Inside this range, having a low angular velocity with relationship to your opponent is very dangerous. Within 400 meters, you might encounter gravity-based defenses from the enemy ship. Within 50 meters, sensor-based weapons like Seeker warheads are able to detect their targets. Most weapons are undodgeable at this range. I know this video has been a bit dry, but before we get into the really neat player-built weapon systems that can attack from beyond 2 kilometers, it's important to understand what the stock weapon systems are capable of. Next week, I'll be back with a video on basic long-range missiles and how they interact with the defenses I've described here. Until then, I'm John Brewer. Come and learn from my mistakes.